Thank you everybody for joining us today for this ribbon cutting ceremony here at Portland Park Activity Center. This is a uh, park donated by the Joey Logano Foundation uh, for Ashley, in memory of Ashley Hunt. And uh, we're, we're honored to have some of Ashley's uh, family members here with us today. Her grandma and uh, two of her good friends uh, could make it here for this ribbon cutting. So uh, about a month ago on June 19th, we broke ground here and uh, just one less than one month later, you'll look around and see that we have this gorgeous park um, before we do the ribbon cutting, though, I want to introduce and uh, recognize a couple folks. Uh, first of all, Greg Fisher, Mayor of Louisville, for being here with us. Uh, that's right. We have Jennifer Richman, uh, Director of Government Relations with Coca-Cola Consolidated as well. Uh, Matt Alexander with Kentucky Speedway right here. Uh, Melissa Cantwell right here behind me. Uh, Mike Mole with uh, PNC Bank. Lisa Bazudo, with the, uh, she's the executive director of the Joey Logano Foundation. And then we also have uh, representatives of Game Time, uh, Renee Spicer. Right here's Renee. And then uh, several representatives from the Louisville Parks and Recreation, uh, Sevi Ghosh, Ben Johnson, Jason Canuel, and uh, Dana Kessler. So thank you for everybody. It's been a real team effort to... If you're gonna build a park that looks like this in, in less than a month, you know it has to be a team effort, and it, it truly was with all of these community and civic partners coming together to really make this happen. Um, and with that said, and with everybody being introduced, I'm gonna turn this over to Mayor Greg Fisher for a couple remarks. Thank you, Matt. Hello, everybody, thanks for coming out. Thank you for our young leaders here to help us here today. You're looking good, man. Well, it was, uh, it was really hot about a month ago when we kick this off and it's amazing to see the amount of progress that's been made in a short amount of time and this park is going to continue to bring lots of joy and good times to the kids and their moms and their aunts and their friends and everybody out here to keep our kids busy during the summertime. I want to thank uh, Joy Logano who couldn't make it here today. We'll be sure to be cheering on the number 22 Ford team and Team Penske here this Saturday night at the big race and things are looking pretty good. No rain. It's going to be a little hot, but people are going to be out having a big time. So we're really uh, appreciative of Joy and the work he did. He was here at the kickoff three or four weeks ago. Uh, he made sure to tell the story of Ashley and uh, what a fighter she was and how inspiring that she was to him. So it's wonderful that we're keeping the memory of her alive here through this park with all these kids having good times here. So thank you guys. To Grandma, thank you for coming down. Your friends, we appreciate that. Joey's a young guy, too. You know, he's talking about excellence on the racetrack, but he also was talking about excellence off the racetrack and, and using his profile to do good work. Uh, that's a message that uh, Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time, would say. He said, you know, not everybody's going to be the biggest, baddest athlete of the 20th century like Muhammad was or a great race car driver like Joey, but they both said everybody can help somebody. So everybody can do good things. And depending on what you got, maybe you can do really good things here, like this new pr playground here. So I just want to say thank you to Joey and his team for the wonderful work here for our community. We appreciate the good work. Please feel free to pass along our best to him and best wishes for the race of this weekend as well. If you want to learn more about Joey's uh, foundation, you can go to joylaganofoundation.com. You'll see how he invests in offering second chances to children and young adults during times of crisis. And then he also works to inspire others to live a life of generosity. And this is a great example of it here. He does a lot with kids in NASCAR, so he just helps out time and time again. And I think that's really good, especially for a guy that's, what, 27, 28 years old. Uh, so he's not waiting to get started to do good things. Like Jennifer Lawrence, she's a Louisvillian. I think Jennifer is, what, 26 or 27? And she's been incredibly generous to our city with all type of philanthropic activity uh, through the arts uh, primarily. So you don't have to be old to be generous or give money away. Do what you can. I want to thank also all the other folks that have helped pull this uh, together in addition to the foundation. You heard about many of them earlier today, but Shell, Quaker State, Kentucky Speedway's Children's Charity of Kentucky, and Coca-Cola and PNC have all stepped up and others in a really significant way uh, to make this happen. So it takes a team to get this done and this playground is a unprecedented commitment to Louisville from NASCAR and NASCAR driver to 
our community. So we really, really appreciate the whole NASCAR team for stepping forward on this. So I can tell you this track feels good, this rubberized track. Uh, Coca-Cola is showing off a little bit. These benches over here in the back are made of recycled uh, bottles. So when you think about recycling, and does it matter? It might show up as a park bench uh, someday. So we appreciate everybody's efforts in pulling this here together today. So let's have a ribbon cutting to get this underway. Maybe will you guys help us with the ribbon cutting? Okay, let's do this. All right. <laughs> 